My name is Katherine Barnes, and these are my Sims 3 horses. My first horse is Willow. She's 16 and 1 hands, and she's a leopard Appaloosa. She's a 17-year-old mare. She was my first horse, and I adopted her when she was a filly from a farm in the plains. She was a shy foal, but was an adorable peach-spotted Appaloosa from the Appalachian tribe up north in the Riverview Rockies back home. She was the most beautiful blonde mane horse I had ever seen, and I knew I had to start my training career with her. I bought her for $50 and never went back. She was quiet and very obedient from day one, and once she started filling out and reached 16 hands, that's when I knew she would be the perfect horse for competition. She had big feet, though. As soon as she was two years old, I got her into saddle and started her in western seat training. She was one of the strongest and most calm rides I've ever had, and she had a knack for jumping when I started training her, which I knew she would since she had jumped over our dogs in the barn all the time when she was a filly. As a 20-something, going into the arena for the first time with a horse I had trained over poles myself was terrifying, but Willow had an amazing career and made over $20,000 in show jumping, hunter, and cross-country competitions at the JRA Equestrian Center. She could have easily made more, but being busy on a farm where I trained dogs full-time to be hunters for jewels and lost persons, I didn't want to push her too far. She is still my main horse and one of the most talented horses I've ridden. She has free jumped 130 and can race up to 40 miles per hour. All bareback, boys. I honestly don't know how I would have survived without her, especially in the winter time when the first thing I see when I wake up is her rolling around in the snow. It's honestly the cutest thing. But in her retired years, she loves to play and is never afraid of a challenge. As you can see in this rain montage. <laughs> when she was 11 years old, we decided to adopt a fiery off the track stallion named Iko for my husband Chad to ride. And a year later, Willow had her first full autumn and three years after had Athena. It was a shock to all of us, but I just couldn't sell any of them, especially since the Appalachian breed is going extinct and I wanted to have Willow's genes around for years to come. So we got a bigger barn. My second horse is Iko, and he's a 15 and 9 hand speckled and blanketed Appaloosa, and he's a 13 year old stallion. Iko was a horse for my husband Chad, and since Willow didn't have as much energy as she used to, I agreed that he needed to learn to start horses on a new one. One day after competition, we saw a beautiful Auburn Bay Appaloosa being pushed around behind the building. The men were trying to load him into a trailer, and after we saw the abuse happening, we rushed in and bought him off of them for $500, worth every penny, because I knew even though he wasn't making money anymore, Iko would be a perfect addition to our farm. And and I have a thing for Appaloosas. Ika was a fighter, and our vet assumed he was about eight years old when we brought him home. But we soon were without question that he had been abused at a racetrack before because he wouldn't go anywhere near starting posts of any kind. But the stubborn boy never lost his spirit after those years on the track, and eventually we built up his jumping skill, and with his speed and playful nature, he was a shoe in for cross-country and hunter classes. Iko taught Chad to ride, and he even quit his day job to devote his life to training him, but my family jokes that it was the other way around. He's actually good now, I swear. After a year, he was fully trained on the racetrack again, and though he's not the most coordinated horse out there, he will do just about anything Chad asks of him because their bond is that strong. But he also had a pretty strong bond with Willow because of their late family together. Haha. <laughs> at heart, Iko is a very friendly warm blood and loves a western ride with me and Willow at the end of the day. Autumn was our family's first foal, and she's a 15 and 9 hand speckled and blanket mix Appaloosa, just like Iko. Autumn is the first foal of our household, and she won't let you forget it. She's extremely stubborn, just like her dad, and loves a fierce race against her sister, Athena. Her coat is a mix of Willow's spots and Iko's flex, but she mostly resembles her dad with her auburn patches, wild mane, and unpredictable <laughs> temperament. My daughter Aspen rides her, and they have made $2,500 so far in their career. Not so bad for a 16-year-old, huh? When she was being started by Aspen and I, Autumn wouldn't race or obey any signals and just wanted to roll around in the autumn leaves, hence her name. We thought of selling her because she would break fences and fight with her sister, but when she reached marehood, she was a lot more agreeable and actually has an amazing talent for jumping, though racing isn't her strong suit, and she sometimes gets so excited that she trips over her own feet. She can jump almost two meters, sizing up her mother, and it's safe to say that Aspen has received her fair share of all so far, including a riding accident last year, which they're both still recovering from. Chad, to the camera off! Though she's still learning to run calmly and beside other horses, she livens up our stables with her tendency to cause trouble. Maybe that's why Aspen started to convert her to English riding. Oh well. Athena is a 16 and one hand leopard and blanket mix Appaloosa. She's a two-year-old filly and the youngest horse of our barn, who was just a foal a few weeks ago. She is taking after Willow and filling out fast. We decided to hand the reins over to our son, Zachary, who was often left out of the equation. Zach had raised her from a foal when the rest of us were busy working. They developed a special bond, making Athena the patient one while Zach learns. Better late than never, am I right? But don't worry, we don't put him in any danger, and Athena is the most talented horse in the stable. She had mastered how to run and jump the day she was born, and has taken after Willow in the way that she is a very peaceful spotted blanket Appaloosa mix. 
But from day one, we knew she had power when she would jump our six-foot fences like they were nothing. What's with all the skill in my barn? I swear I'm not the one responsible. Zach is a quick learner, but still has a long way to go before they're ready for competition. At the end of the day, all she wants is to be loved and stick it to the other small horses who can't move the way she can on the hunter and show jumping courses. Anyway, Thena is one of the friendliest horses you'll ever meet and can take my young riders any time they want to ride. She reminds me more of her mother every day and has a permanent place in my heart. But don't tell Zach that, because he wants to take her when he moves out in a few years. Either way, they have a bold future ahead of them. The last horse of our household is Eclipse, who is a 16th hand 30 year old mare midnight unicorn. Eclipse is a night unicorn which we found a few weeks ago on our lawn. With my horse whispering ability, I had always dreamed of adopting a wild horse, and I got my wish when a herd of them came to me. The next morning, she was accepted into our family and has been setting fires and blessing us ever since. And it's interesting to note that when she first got here, she was a black thoroughbred, but the more time we spend with her, the more her coat turns pure. I don't know how long she'll be with us, but she's amazing to ride and even fly. But I trust her with the rest of my horses and my kids because she can protect them from danger in a pinch. She is fearless. She beats any horse you put in front of her, but I don't want to use her to my advantage when there are so many young riders on natural horses trying to get by. I do take her out to a show every once in a while when Willow's not feeling up to it. This is because she's only 30, which is very young for unicorns of her race. Anyway, I guess the moral is to not let appearances deceive you, because Eclipse is a stunning breed with a kind heart, not a destructive stray like other dark unicorns you might find nowadays. So those are all of my five horses, and I hope you enjoyed them as much as I do. Don't forget to comment down below which one was your favorite, and like if you want me to make more videos like this, because you never know when there could be more added to the mix. I'm Kat, stay simming!